What is it? Wait for the data to arrive. Now at the receiver side, uh, always it is from bottom to top, right? So here the transport layer. So here we are speaking about the TCP running at the transport layer at the receiver side. So TCP at the transport layer should wait for the data to arrive or the packet to arrive from the below layer, which is the below layer of transport layer. It is network layer, right? So wait for zero from below means wait for the packet with the sequence number zero from the network layer. So once the packet arrives, arrives there uh, the first expected packet always at the receiver side is with the sequence number zero right so you can see here just now a packet is received at the receiver side and if that received the packet there if that received packet there one second uh, if that received packet there is the one which is uh, um, uh, not corrupted so receiver as usual he will check the condition receive the packet and uh, the what the sender has sent and uh, he will check whether the received packet is not a corrupted one uh, with the help of checksum he will check this and after that now the third condition he is checking and that third condition is uh, sequence number okay so what is that sequence number initially the sender has sent data with the sequence number uh, uh, zero by adding the sequence number zero to the packet. So it's taking a new condition here receiver whether the received packet has sequence number zero. So he has received the packet and he'll check whether it is a corrupted or not and along with that third condition is checking that is if it has the sequence number zero. Okay if all these conditions are true what is it supposed to do what the receiver is supposed to do nothing he has to accept that data right so he's expecting the sequence number zero packet and also he has seen that just now that the packet is not corrupted and also uh, with that what is he doing the corresponding action that he's taking is um, uh, he will extract the packet what is that uh, the uh, he will extract the data out of the packet okay and after extracting the data out of the packet he will deliver the message uh, or the data to the above layer that is application layer and after that the receiver has to prepare positive acknowledgement for this particular received packet and how is it preparing the positive acknowledgement you can see ACK is a packet that is preparing now receiver is preparing and along with that he will also add checksum to this acknowledgement packet you can see why checksum is added here why because the garbage what if what if the acknowledgement gets garbled on the way so the sender upon receiving the acknowledgement he should be able to uh, uh, rectify that with the help of checksum right so he, he should be able to detect the acknowledgement garbled acknowledgement uh, whether it is garbled or not with the help of this checksum so checksum is also introduced by the receiver in order to the uh, uh, I mean uh, checksum is introduced by the receiver along with the uh, uh, acknowledgement okay right so he's sending this now and you can see the packet is sent acknowledgement packet is sent so how is he sending UDT send what is it indicating he is sending this packet to the next layer below layer that is network layer at the receiver side so remember receiver actually checks here three conditions in RDT 2.1 one is he has to first receive the packet so this time what packet the receiver is receiving it is the first packet with the sequence number zero so you can see he is receiving the packet along with that he is checking whether the received packet is corrupted or not so how is he checking that it is he is checking that with the help of checksum so if it is not corrupted and if he is receiving the packet with the sequence number zero that means he is correctly receiving the packet without any problem so he will extract the data out of the packet and that data he will deliver to the application layer and then for that he will create create an acknowledgement packet and for that acknowledgement packet positive acknowledgement he will add also the checksum and then that acknowledgement packet will be sent to the network layer okay so this is how we are going to do the how the receiver will check for the condition now once the packet is sent once the acknowledgement packet is sent he will he will move on to the new state what is that new state he will now wait for the second packet to arrive so which is that second packet with the sequence number one correct now so he here again you can see the condition that is checked but before that we will check one more other possibility of this so what is that other possibility of this um, uh, you can see uh, 
yeah uh, uh yeah uh, uh, receiver will receive a packet what if the received packet is a corrupted packet you can see here uh, just now he has received the packet that was not corrupted right but this time the other condition other possibility we are checking that is he has received the packet and if the received packet is a corrupted packet in that case uh, he will prepare a negative acknowledgement and you can see here for this corrupted packet that means receiver should is, is expecting now the sender to retransmit the packet why because he has not received the packet in the proper format right so he will prepare a negative acknowledgement for this packet and remember for all the acknowledgement packets what he is sending he will add checksum and send for this negative acknowledgement also he will add checksum and send that packet Okay, so here you can see he has just to receive a check whether the received packet is uh, corrupted. So in that case, what is he supposed to do? He will prepare negative acknowledgement and send. So there is one more condition that he has to check. What is that? What if the receiver receives the packet with the wrong sequence number? So what is that wrong sequence number means? You can see here, receiver is receiving a packet and if the received packet is not corrupted one again, till here it is proper, received a packet in the proper order, I mean not erroneous packet, but if the received packet has sequence number 1, what is he expecting now? He is expecting the packet with sequence number 0, but instead of 0, he is receiving what? He is receiving the packet with the sequence number 1. What is the meaning of that? The meaning is, it is the duplicate acknowledgement that is arriving. So, what is the meaning of duplicate acknowledgement here? You can just see here, uh, the uh, see, uh, sender has sent a packet, okay, but the receiver also has received the packet, let's say, but after receiving the packet, uh, what the sender, receiver will do, he will send a uh, acknowledgement, but what happens to that acknowledgement on the way? sender when he is receiving the acknowledgement he might receive a corrupted acknowledgement in that case what the receiver what the sender will do after receiving corrupted acknowledgement he will not be able to understand what the acknowledgement is that whether it is positive or whether it is negative in that case what the sender will do he will simply retransmit the packet retransmit the previously sent data but the receiver is he really requiring there the retransmission no why because receiver has already received the packet properly and after receiving he is also correctly pro uh, correctly sent the acknowledgement packet but what the sender has done there sender is not able to understand the acknowledgement packet whether it is positive or negative because of that the sender has simply retransmitted the packet and because of this retransmission what has happened at the receiver side receiver has already received one copy of the packet but this time again he is receiving the duplicate packet what is that duplicate packet with the sequence number same sequence number so what the receiver will do now first he should identify the duplicate packet so how will the receiver identify duplicate packet with the help of sequence number if he has already received a packet with the same sequence number the meaning is receiver should not accept that particular packet with the same sequence number so that duplicate packet should be discarded at the receiver. So, how the receiver is identifying the duplicate packet with the help of sequence number. So, here you can see one such case. What is it? Receiver is receiving the packet properly and it is not erroneous also but the receiver what is he what is he receiving the packet that is received has a uh, sequence number other sequence number which is not the expected one. Here the sender is expecting zero but he is receiving what the sequence number one that means what this is a duplicate packet that is arriving and in that case what the receiver will do he will simply create a packet and what is that packet he is creating uh, see you can see here he is simply sending the acknowledgement for this partic particular packet that he has received. So, what is that uh, acknowledgement he is sending? This time, the positive acknowledgement. That means what? Positive acknowledgement means what? So, receiver is correctly receiving the packet. Receiver will come to know that the acknowledgement that sender has, might, may, might be might have not received. So, that is why he is uh, sending this uh, packet with the sequence number 1. So, what the receiver will do? He will create again the positive acknowledgement positive acknowledgement for this particular packet and he will add also the checksum for this positive acknowledgement and he will send that particular packet. So, what is the meaning of this now? So, what even if the receiver has received duplicate packet, the receiver instead of simply, I mean instead of simply keeping quiet, the receiver will understand that the sender might not have received the acknowledgement for the previously sent packet. So, what the receiver will do? He will simply create a positive acknowledgement for that and he will send that 
positive acknowledgement packet back to the sender and you can notice one thing he has not accepted this particular packet with sequence number one what do you mean by expecting this packet expect sorry accepting this packet means what so you can see here he has not extracted the packet data out of the packet he has not delivered the data or the packet to the above layer right so those two steps are not there here that means what this packet with the sequence number one cannot be expected sorry cannot be accepted at the receiver because the expected packet here is with the sequence number zero so he has simply discarded this packet but remember he has sent a positive acknowledgement for the packet thinking that the sender may not have received the positive acknowledgement for this previously sent packet so i hope this is clear now all three conditions are checked this is the duplicate packet uh, condition this is the corrupted packet condition and this is the not corrupted packet and with the proper sequence number these are the three condition checked at the receiver side right so now he is moving to a new state what is that if everything goes fine the receiver will go to the new state of what waiting for the next packet to arrive so once the next second packet arrives again the same condition checking is happening here what is that condition you can see this condition and this condition is same he is receiving the packet this time and he is checking whether the packet is corrupted. If both conditions are true, that means what? If the received packet is corrupted one, what the receiver should do? Create a negative acknowledgement for that packet, add checksum for that and then send that particular negative acknowledgement to the sender. This is the one condition and there is one more condition which has to be checked. What is that? This is a positive condition you can see and this condition and this condition sorry this condition again it is the duplicate of this condition what is it sir what is it duplicate technology duplicate uh, uh, packet arriving so he is receiving the packet and the packet received is not a corrupted one but what is that packet he is getting it is a duplicate what is the meaning of duplicate see here he is expecting the packet with sequence number one but he is getting the packet with the sequence number zero that means what he is getting a duplicate packet what is the meaning of that receiver should understand that this packet is a duplicate packet for which a positive acknowledgement should be prepared, add a checksum and send that to the sender. And after sending the acknowledgement, what is he supposed to do? Please do not accept this particular packet. So simply send that acknowledgement only positive acknowledgement only for the packet back to the sender so this is the condition is he checking he is checking and then there is one more positive condition what is that the received packet if it is not corrupted and if it has the proper sequence number what is the proper expected sequence number it is a sequence number one so if all three conditions are true what the receiver should do accept that particular packet by extracting the data out of the packet deliver that data out to the above application layer and create a positive acknowledgement for that packet and send that packet back to the sender so you can see this condition and this condition are exactly same to say only the sequence number is differing there here uh, there the sequence number is zero and here the sequence number is one and these two conditions are same to same and again these two conditions are same to same this is how we are going to write rdt 2.1 receiver so here mainly garbled acknowledgement is dealt and also the duplicate acknowledgements are checked with the help of sequence number this is how you have to remember okay so you can see here, uh, um, uh, yes, uh, all these concepts we have discussed with respect to RDT 2.1 sender and also with respect to RDT 2.1 receiver, okay, yes, and then you can see now, um, uh, okay, um, yes so we have the next version of the rdt and you can see in the next version of the rdt um, uh, it is uh, the one uh, which is ruling out a concept from rdt 2.1 so what is that see here in rdt 2.1 receiver has a burden one burden what is that receiver has to prepare two types of acknowledgement one is positive and one is negative acknowledgement right so in rdt 2.1 you have already seen the sequence number also is added now can we use the same see here in rdt 2.1 sequence number was assigned for what it was assigned for the packet that is transmitted right now can we use the same sequence number for the acknowledgement packet as well Yes, we can do. What is that? For the acknowledgement that you are sending, you can add the sequence number and send. What is the meaning of that? Here, see. ACK0 means what? ACK0 means it is the acknowledgement for packet with the sequence number 0. ACK1 means what? It is for it is the acknowledgement for the packet. For what? It is for the acknowledgement for the packet with the sequence number 1. So, here, can I rule out the concept of this NAC, NAK here, negative acknowledgement? Instead of negative acknowledgement, can I send 
positive acknowledgement only positive acknowledgement if i send how will it compensate with the negative acknowledgement then you can see see even if i send positive acknowledgement here even if the receiver sends positive acknowledgement the sender upon receiving should be able to understand that this acknowledgement is a negative acknowledgement so meaning of negative acknowledgement should not be ruled out concept remains the same but only thing is NAK, a new packet called NAK is not prepared at the receiver. Instead, only one packet, ECK only you are transferring. But how are you identifying between, how are you distinguishing between the positive and negative here? It is with the help of sequence number. You can see here, ACK0 means it is the positive acknowledgement for the packet with sequence number 0. So, instead of here NAK, if I use ACK1, what is the meaning of that? I had to I had to use the sequence number 0 only for packet 0, right? But instead of 0, uh, for ACK, if I use the sequence number 1, ACK1 for packet 0, what is the meaning of that? It means that the wrong acknowledgement you are sending or it means that it is a negative acknowledgement that you are sending for packet with sequence number 0. So, ACK0 for packet with the sequence number 1 indicates that it is a negative acknowledgement that you are sending for packet with sequence number 1 okay so here in rdt 2.2 we are ruling out the concept of negative acknowledgement instead we are using sequence number for positive acknowledgement ack only so it is a knack free protocol you just remember this sentence knack free protocol uh, for rdt 